them. I want to tell you a, a beautiful story that is very dear to me and very emotional. In Ramadan 2014, um, our community had just finished praying Tarawih and I had given a short speech at the local masjid on the topic of Jannah. And an elderly man came up to me after my speech and he said, Shabazz, no, I want to go to Jannah now. And it was something that was quite profound as the elderly man had just, you know, gotten up off his seat and proclaimed that, you know, that this is the time that now he wants to go to Jannah. So after Tarawih in this short speech, I, I went home and it was around 2.30 a.m. in the morning and Fajr in the Masjid was at 3 a.m. So I lay down in my bed, I was completely tired, I was fatigued, I wasn't feeling well and it was towards the, the last kind of 10 nights in Ramadan. And as I lay there on my bed, I thought that, okay, I will pray Fajr in the house and I won't go to the masjid. But when I was lying down, I thought of this elderly man who is over 70 years old. He had cancer in his throat and he could barely even speak. He had cancer in his knees and he could barely even walk. Yet every single day he managed to pray all of his prayers at the masjid. And as I lay there and I reflected upon this, something just suddenly clicked within me and I got up and I went to the, to the masjid. And it was almost as if my soul had taken over the actions in my body. So Alhamdulillah, we prayed Fajr at the masjid and then I came back home and went to sleep. And then in the morning, you know, our house received a, a phone call and it was the elderly man's wife that had phoned to let us know that the elderly man, Uncle Zafar, had passed away in his sleep after praying Fajr in the masjid when he went back home. And this news, subhanAllah, just shocked the entire community. And I thought about, you know, if I didn't get up and went to the mosque to pray Fajr and gain those blessings, then I would not have had the opportunity to give my salam to this person for one last time. And the moral of this story and how it relates to Ramadan is that when you're motivated, just obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ignore your emotions and feelings and personal sentiments. This is the time for you to connect with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And in the tafsir of Surah Taha, when Musa alayhi salam was commanded by Allah to grab the snake, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, grab the snake and don't be afraid. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala didn't say, don't be afraid and grab the snake. The action comes first and then the emotion comes later. So in this Ramadan, in your personal journey with Allah, fulfill your duty and your responsibility to the individual, to the being that brought you here in that you brought you here in the first place. And then worry about your feelings and your sentiments and emotions after you have fulfilled your responsibility to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.